that's hard. Tracy still. little traces of brown. Where did that come from? What are you? Pocket. Ash pockets are good. Ash pockets are very good. Alright. I'm gonna take another chunk of wall off. this right there just under the surface we got set that aside You tell me a dude spent all day yesterday here looking for the black hole. Well, I found it within the first half an hour. It was right next to the hole. Oh, cool. So there's a little bit sitting right there on top of whatever this area is. Pretty cool, put in water. Keep going.
always have a little bit of stuff going on. That one goes in the basket, though. Turns dope on the other side, though. I'm gonna change that next one, I think. Oh, that's too cool. Magnetized wood, though. Keep following it back.
tires got like that big and you did was just crazy. Well, people don't understand. They're like, I got good tires. I can yeah. make it. It don't, don't matter. Don't matter, matter man. We're talking bent nice play. Yeah. what happens Saturday, we're supposed to have a barbecue, so of course it's going to rain. The wind is, is good. The wind's the number one enemy. It's going to be blowing 40 miles an hour. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'd move to a different spot, but I feel good about the spot. Sorry about Is that? That's glass. That's good glass. Does it have color? Oh yeah. Yeah, pan color. Found another shiny bit. Did you get a nice one? I did. Alright. It's uh chocolate milk brown. Nice. I love that one. Now The question is, is where is the tip of it? Okay, you just came out right in front of it. Right there. There's the tip of it. Nice, found the other half of it. Glassy. Oh, is that more right there? Okay, I got another little bit right here. Hold on a second.
so this is just tracing. But when it's tracing like that, it usually means there's something nearby. Gibson. A little bit of traces right there. So many traces. It's like there's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. I can't keep my eyes off the ground. I pick um, up every shiny rock I see. I walk all winter long in any direction. I don't find anything. I come back with a round rock. And I, I know. Hey, and hey, sometimes that's a significant round rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We are underwater. Yeah. I've been looking for every kind of rock available. Yeah. There's lots of rocks out here that are shaped like arrowheads. Right, dude. <laughs> that a nice one. Yes. Yeah. Walk on. Um, that's so fun. I don't care. I, oh, yeah. I, in my mind, I could walk in a half hour in any direction, anywhere, and find something. I, we, 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 ah. the water places. We, we went into the Sunshine place, too, so we walked the desert out there, too. Yeah. The same thing. You know, it's every, pretty out there. I love it. Okay. Everywhere you go out and walk, you know, there's just interesting rocks everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere, you know, the lands were a lot different a thousand years ago, yeah. ten thousand years ago, way yeah. now. Yeah. Well, fir fir and pine trees here, a thousand years ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So look, and then they look what's here now. Yeah, it's amazing. Not, not a redwood forest. Not, <laughs> not grassland. 
sagebrush. So this redwood forest grew, it got this thing filled up with water, it got wiped out about three or four times. Yeah. They tell me 65% of the stuff gets missed. And then I kind of call bullshit because how do they know that? But I believe it. So when I find an arrowhead, I I just throw it back out over there somewhere because that's what you're supposed to do. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know that's only on public land, right? happens with mushroom picking too. Oh yeah, I know it. Morales, man. Yep. That's what I do for a living other than is. rocks. Well, uh, here, see, I did see shiny over here and look, look, it's a pretty... You got a good one, eh? Pretty well, and it is. Opal liquor, opal liquor, opal, opal liquor. Yeah. <laughs> my, Stay my hydrated. used to call me a rock <laughs> liquor all the time. We'd be deer hunting and he'd say, I'm going this way and I say, okay, I'll be I'll be going this way. And then he come back two hours later, I'd still be there for licking rocks. He goes, this fucking licking rocks, we're hunting deer. That's why I don't even go hunting, because I know I just live for shit the whole time. That's what I do. Like, I laid my rifle down one time and was oh, no. crawling on the ground looking at cool rocks, you know. And a three-point buck jumped up, and my rifle's about 15 yards behind me. And it's like, oh, am I stupid? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like rocks. Did they stop taking you hunting? <laughs> yeah, I just like rocks. But I, we need to stop taking this guy with us. He doesn't need to see that deer right in front of him. The thing was, I killed more deer than all of them. <laughs> and picked up a lot of rocks. It's a habit. <laughs> Since I was a kid. I was eight years old, we used to go to my uncle Ed's gold mine. So I, I always got packs with pans and shovels and rock hammers. And... I remember a thunder I got had when I was five. I can still pick this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever have it cut open? Yeah, it was cut. It was blue and white inside. Yeah, well, too. My mom carried one around forever, and after she died, we cut it open, and it almost had like a little map of Oregon on it. And she carried it so she picked it up in some corner. Oregon has some of the best thunder on the earth. We, we, yeah. We went to Lakeview, our friends were there, and we uh, went and got thunder eggs. It's called Train Creek. Yeah. I still think it's tracing called. that. Yeah. Up on the Is there something? One year we went to Davis Creek and picked up about 700 pounds of obsidian. We got obsidian coming out of our ears, you know. <laughs> I started giving all my shit away about five years ago. I was just like the very best of the best. Because there's some stuff I just don't need. Well, we uh, have we have polishing equipment, and we have made about 25 pendants of sun stones, and we gave them away. Yeah. Other really nice cool rocks, we've made necklaces out of them. Never sell anything, we give it all away. <laughs> you want to hear about my 200 carat gun being that tall sun stone that I found? Oh, wow. That's nice. Give it away. No, hell no. <laughs> the owner of the mine was so pissed when I found it. He shut down my shit that was, day. Was that uh, the Dust Devil or Dust 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 D
first time I got on that special. We usually just go out in the desert and walk around, but everybody's doing it now. It's pretty picked over. We all went for you know, last week. Oh, okay. I do that, and then I'll dig. I spent a month out there, and then I'll just dig every two or three days. And yeah. Pay to dig. No, they don't let me find the shit like the one I found, so they closed down the pit that I found it in. I was happy they weren't. I hate that. Poor fish, man. Well, you know. They said we didn't think you'd find that, and I said I did. I sent mine to Ohio to have a guy cut it, and one day I got an email, and he was horrified that he cracked it. There wasn't a damn crack in that thing, so he cost me about $20,000. I think it was a bigger and badder stone than he's ever dealt with, and it's about 36 pounds. I use a quarter inch uh, classifier. Yeah, that's what I use out there too. You know that drainage right along the road in the BLM area? Yeah. You go down in the bottom of that? I did that already. Look for that black gravel layer. Oh yeah. And that's the stuff, man. I pull all kinds of big stones out of there. There'd be months that go by in the middle of winter where I don't see a person. Oh, yeah. Well, they stay all year round, too, don't they? Oh, they come and go. Oh, really? They have a nice place over by where the Mackerel Ash also farms, so they go and hang out there for a while. Oh, oh hell yeah. But they always want somebody out here, you know? Oh, yeah, somebody has to come. You could, you could spend a week stealing everything out of the house and oh. nobody would ever know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
So I stand there with my rifle outside my window all day long. Just I waiting. love it. Just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I sat at home and do that all day. <laughs> I do a lot of walking up and down these roads here. I don't ever come up here to make it positive. That we got this much of it so far. Yeah. You finding one? Oh, it's just a long yeah. little limb cast, but we probably have this much of it in pieces. Sweet. Glass? Yeah. Nice. Big old long limb casting. It was. Yeah, everybody does. Everybody does. All rock lines do, okay? Some cool green. I never do it. I play during the It's uh. Why don't you just break that off of? Oh, I'm in the winter. I come up all day long, and I don't do anything. Right there. That's when I broke it off. Of. Right there. Right. I didn't go for a while. People are like, okay, I can have all the time. Okay, let me get my ass back in. Two horses. There used to be a lot more horses in burrows, but they've been getting rid of them all. They weren't supposed to be out here. Yeah, I know. Well, horses weren't here until the Spanish came. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, now there's not hardly any damn animals, and the biggest blessings in this country. Crazy, isn't it? I see two horses and one burrow. One burrow. Colleen wanted to get pictures of them. When we were driving around, we did that Beatty loop the other day with our friends, because they always do that Beatty loop. You know, and of course, you have to walk a long way to find these things. <laughs> and uh, we saw six horses, and Colleen didn't thought we were going to see them all over the place out here, so she didn't take any pictures of them. And, oh, no. Yeah, and this is like, she kept the camera ready all day. <laughs> There's the two, and I haven't seen them in a while. They're on the street there on the road. On the road, yeah. Yeah. Got the horses in this poop. Yep. Well, and I saw tracks, and I, I saw little tracks, too. I figured that was a burrow here. Donkey. You have to see my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, can't yeah, do it. <laughs> Well, I know I, people miss stuff every day. Oh, I miss oh, stuff I knew too. I was missing stuff. I kept going back through and chopping it up from all this with my shovel. A lot of it I just wanted to move out of the way and get down to the level, level you were. Yeah, <laughs> basically. But the, but the thing's going like this. A couple of feet up on that wall. And a couple of feet down the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I took a lot of walls and I took a ton of them down the This open layer also has downhill. Yeah. This caldera was probably this kind of feature. This is one of the seven calderas underneath that Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. It's all kind of connected. All connected. But is this part of the uh, Pacific Plateau, too, down this way, or no? I'd like to see that. Good question. 
They call it the Pacific Plateau when you uh, everything going toward the Cascades. Like with land, I, I grew up on the land of Oregon. I grew up about 30 miles south of Portland. It used to, it used to be out in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so anymore. Uh, that's like uh, if you're next to Nashville, you're there. Winston? No, no. Wilsonville, Candy, Wilson Aurora. They lived in Wilsonville. Oh, I remember when Wilsonville was just nothing, and now it's just nothing. <laughs> right? time. 